I'm Beth Calder, I'm the food science specialist for the University of Maine Cooperative Extension. This is Maine and the weather is very unpredictable and so you just never know when the power is going to go out and when it comes back on, how do you know if your frozen foods and your refrigerated foods are safe and also when is it okay to use your canned foods and when it's not okay to use your canned foods. So I'm going to talk about some food safety considerations when there's a power outage to help you prevent foodborne illness. Okay, so the power comes back on. How do you know if your foods are still safe in your refrigerator or freezer? And it's a good practice to have an NSF approved thermometer to have in your refrigerator and also your freezer. And as you can see, there's a little NSF symbol on there to determine if your foods were exposed to too high a temperatures. Normal refrigerator temperatures should be at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below, and the freezer should be at zero degrees Fahrenheit or below. And so there's a temperature danger zone. If you've noticed that your uh, thermometer is above 40 degrees for more than two hours, then the food is not safe to eat and should be thrown away. Perishable items such as meat, dairy products, fish, shellfish, or eggs, these perishable items should be at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below. If the temperature starts to warm up in the refrigerator for more than two hours, these food products should be consumed right away and or they should be thrown away. Go ahead and take a look at your frozen foods and if they still have ice crystals, then it should be fine to be able to uh, refreeze the food product. However, thawing and refreezing will affect the quality and the texture, so the food product should be probably consumed within a month. However, if it's completely thawed out, then I would use that food product immediately or throw it away. If it looks like the power is going to be out for a couple of days and you've moved your perishable food items onto ice, a couple of things you may want to keep in mind are that your meats and your milks are going to spoil quickly, so you want to either consume them right away or throw them out. And also something to keep in mind is that you may want to use your camp stove or your grill to boil water and or to prepare foods. Another helpful hint is to check your inventory of your canned foods. Commercially canned foods will have an expiration or best buy date, and if canned foods have expired, you'll want to throw them out. And for homemade canned foods, they're usually good within the year that they're made, and if they've gone past that year's expiration date, you'll want to throw them out, because canned foods do eventually spoil. For more helpful food safety tips during a power outage or natural disaster, visit the University of Maine Cooperative Extension's website.